Hi, my name is Donovan and I'm part of the Focalscope technical team. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating the Agent View feature in Focalscope. Agent View allows you or others to monitor a fellow helpdesk agent's entire account from the comfort and privacy of your own PC, laptop or even smartphone. You also have full control to respond to emails and tickets on the monitored accounts, thereby assisting new trainees as they get up to speed or taking over an agent's responsibilities should they be on leave or out of commission. This ensures that customers never notice a break in communications and can readily receive updates from standby agents without ever changing the communication channels they were using. A typical example of using Agent View would be to give access to your supervisor so he or she can monitor their subordinates accounts and assist them in how they interact with clients. All emails that are sent from an agent's view are also sent using the agent's own personal email address and not the supervisor's email address. Let's take a look at Agent View in action. I've set up these two accounts that I wish to interact with, namely Sia and Matthew. I'll quickly demonstrate how easy it is to monitor their actions or step in and take action myself using Agent View. Looking at Sia's folders, we have full access to all the emails, support tickets, calendar events, contacts, document shares, signatures, and notes. Should an account not have certain folders associated with it, they will be omitted from the list. Viewing and responding to any messages or tickets is done exactly as you would from your own account, as is using any of the features in the other folders. Returning to the role of supervisor, I can review Matthew's sent items and quickly see which emails he has sent and how he handled them. In Sia's account, I can modify and add contacts as she may require. I can also scrutinize the shared documents and should she have any outdated or missing files, I can quickly upload the correct ones for her. Let's write an email from Matthew's account. As you can notice, the from email address is Matthew's own address and not mine. This ensures that the recipient never knows that the message actually originated from the supervisor and not Matthew. Showing in detail how to interact with each folder's contents is beyond the scope of this video, and such topics are covered in detail in other tutorials. Now that we've seen Agent View in action, let's get familiar with setting it up. In order to use the power of Agent View, you must have Administrative Privileges and click on the screen tab and select Administration. Now, expand User Access Control, Folder Access, and select the Agent Views folder. In the right hand pane, we can see a list of all the accounts we can allow Agent View access to. Simply right click the desired account and select Properties. On the pop-up that opens, you will see the name of the account owner as shown here. This means they have access to their own folders. If you were to remove their name, you would be denying them access to their own folders, similar to an account suspension or lock. So any accounts and groups which have agent view rights to this user's folder will be shown here in this list. To add accounts to this list, simply click the Add button, select a group or account, or hold down the Control key for multiple selections. I'll select my own account and the administrators group. You can also gain access to all subfolders created in a user's main folders. Should you only desire access to your user's main folders, simply untick this box. I'll leave this enabled for this demonstration. Now click OK and that's it, you're done. You have now enabled access rights on this account for the accounts and groups that you selected and added to the privileged list. Before we wrap this video up, I want to show you one final feature in Agent View. Let's say you are feeling more confident regarding your new recruits, or a help desk agent has returned from leave and you do not actively wish to monitor their accounts anymore. You have the option of removing the account or group from the privilege list, or you can simply hide the account from the Agent Views folder. To do this, please make sure you are in the Workspace screen. Go to Agent Views and right click the account you no longer wish to actively monitor but also don't completely want to give up access rights to. Right click and select hide folder. Once hidden, the accounts folders will no longer display in your agent views folder. But if you click on the agent views folder, you'll see the account grayed out alongside the other accounts you are still monitoring. Should you wish to resume active monitoring on this account, simply right click the account and select show folder. You have now resumed active monitoring on this account. I hope this demonstration has been informative for you. I'd like to thank you for watching. 
Should you have any inquiries or suggestions regarding this or any other feature you've seen in Focalscope, please contact us directly at our website. That's www.focalscope.com. We welcome any suggestions on improving Focalscope and look forward to hearing from you.